Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and today's video is titled, Does the next Tiva mobile app have MMS, or also known as Multimedia Messaging Service Capability? So, as you guys may or may not know, Nextiva is one of the top three voice over IP service providers out there in the United States market. If you were to simply just go online to Google and search for, you know, best voice over IP service providers or, you know, best service providers for business on YouTube or whatever, short of us coming up typically is number one, you're going to notice when the carriers come up, Nextiva is in the top three, you know, that come up on the first page or come up in the search results. So... As you can imagine, not only do we get a lot of calls from people that are looking for Nextiva and would like for us to shop Nextiva on their behalf and try to find the best solution at the right price, I also get a lot of calls from people or get asked the question from these folks, does the Nextiva mobile app support multimedia messaging capability, also known as MMS? Now, it's no secret to anybody that in current events today with social distancing and you know, more and more businesses and employers trying to empower their workforce to be able to work remotely or work mobily, a mobile app has become, it's always, in my opinion, been a very useful tool with the voice over IP service providers, but lately it is one of the most powerful tools that any business owner or staff member or employee can have access to, to be able to work remotely from home or work remotely on the go as a salesperson or work remotely because of state mandates or social, you know, distancing, you know, reasons or whatever it may be. So the question always comes up, can the next Eva mobile app do multi-messaging? The answer as of now at the current point of this video is no. But the reason I wanted to make this video is because approximately two weeks ago, I was talking to some folks on the inside. As those of you who frequented this channel, you know that I've got friends in high places with pretty much all of the voiceover IP carriers, all of the phone system service providers, and also internet service providers, and even some in cellular. So I hear things. I hear about what's going on with buyouts and conglomerates and, you know, sales and, uh, you know, new features that may be coming out and research and development and so on and so forth. But I heard some information from Nextiva that multimedia messaging is supposed to be out possibly by quarter, by first quarter, before the end of first quarter 2021, at the very latest end of second quarter 2021. So why did I want to make this video? I get calls literally almost every other day of people that are saying, hey Prince, I saw your video saying that Ring Central is the only provider right now that uh, currently provides multimedia messaging capability which at the time of this video, yes, that is the truth. Their mobile app is the only one that actually supports that. But because of everything that's been going on in recent news and events, which we won't mention in this video, um, most of the other carriers have realized that a multimedia messaging capability is very much needed in their mobile app. And Ring Central can't be the only top dog forever that pretty much has that the market cornered in that regard regarding that feature. So... I wanted to do this video because the short answer to the question is, does the next Tiva mobile app have multimedia messaging service, i.e. MMS capability? Currently, no, but it is coming. It is supposedly coming either end sometime in first quarter 2021, but they have unofficially said on the inside that it will be out before end of second quarter 2021. Why is that important? Well, for a lot of you who may or may not know, you know, you hear me talk about Vonage Business a lot on the channel. Nextiva is Vonage Business's like biggest competitor. Um, while their pricing is typically not as aggressive as um, Vonage Business, it can be for larger and mid-size accounts. So if you're somebody who's been looking at Nextiva and you're thinking, man, I really like this platform, but if it doesn't do MMS, it's a deal breaker. Really ask yourself, you know, are you willing to wait at the time of this video, you know, less than six to eight months? Because if the answer is yes, I would choose Nextiva over some of the other options out there, like a Ring Central that may have MMS capabilities. You know, you might have, there might be some features and function in Nextiva that you see that are more appealing. For example, their CRM that something like a next that a, something like a Ring Central doesn't have. Also, they're very competitive on price compared to some of the other competitors in the market. So um, let me check my notes here and make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing here. Oh. A couple of things I wanted to talk about about Nextiva. They were founded in 2006. They're headquartered out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 
Um, their closest competitor, as I already mentioned earlier in the video, is Vonage Business. Again, while Vonage Business's pricing tends to be much more aggressive, Nextiva does a really good job at coming in pretty close. It's to where you're talking dollars and cents to some degree between the price differences between the two. So you really can look at both of them without kind of making price the sole reason for choosing them and look at which one you choose is better apples to apples. In comparison to Ring Central, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to you guys. While you guys know that I love me some Ring Central, and we've got lots of videos that we've done on Ring Central on our channel, and many customers that use and like Ring Central, Nextiva tends to have a lot better customer service, and their pricing is also a bit more competitive than Ring Central. Um, let's see here, what else? As I just mentioned, their customer service is excellent. Um, during the daytime, American based customer service and support, which is award winning. After hours and off hours or during peak times, you know, when their uh, American support is seriously tied up or inundated with many calls, Nextiva actually has Ukrainian support. Now, I know what you're thinking. Ukrainian support? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. There's a difference here. While many of the carriers outsource their support, Nextiva shines in that their outsourced support out of the Ukraine, Nextiva has very, very high, I guess we'll say, requirements for how proficient a foreign customer service rep's English speaking skills or English as a second language needs to be. I've talked to many, many customers that have dealt with Nextiva's Ukrainian support and I've pretty much never heard any complaints. It's always been absolutely, you know, professional, the highest of uh, technical expertise, uh, meaning they're literally technicians, like certified technicians on the platform. But the biggest thing that I always hear is that the the comprehension, the English comprehension of the persons that they speak with in the Ukraine, they say you can't even tell that they're Ukrainian until somebody told you uh, told them that. So that leads me to believe, after hearing so many people say the same thing, that Nextiva must have really, really high standards or requirement in their human resource department for what a foreign, you know, customer service reps English speaking language abilities or proficiency with the English language must be before they'll even consider hiring them, which is good. You know, that's there's something to be said for that. Um, as I also mentioned, they are also one of the only, they're the only carrier out there that I know of that has a full fledged, fully integrated CRM system that is actually theirs, that works in tandem with their voice over IP product and works seamlessly. So um, that's something else to be said there as well. So, anywho. If you're interested in Nextiva's platform, meaning the price, you know, is appealing to you, you like their customer service ratings, which is pretty good. Uh, you like where it looks like the company is headed in the future. They're a pretty innovative company. They stay on top of updates and doing things to their platform that in turn kind of, you know, empowers users with what's next to come in the market, whether it be, you know, unfolding events or whether it be just something new in the market technologically that they see that, businesses out there could use to be able to, you know, go to the next level or stay innovative. I think they're a great carrier. I think that it's worth the wait for in less than 10 months and less than six to eight months from what we've heard on the inside to wait for their multimedia messaging capability. To give you guys a great example, when the pandemic started, which was back around February, March of 2019, I mean of 2020, um, they released a major, major update to not only their mobile app just less than a month after the pandemic started and they realized that people needed the ability the ability more than ever to be able to work mobily and empower their workforce mobily they released not only a major major update to their mobile app they also released some major major updates to their CRM as well so very innovative company um, if you like what you see I think it's worth waiting for the MMS capabilities in their mobile app versus versus settling for another carrier that may not have all the features and the pricing you're looking for, but just settling because of the MMS. So anyways, if you're watching this video and you're interested in Nextiva, as you already know, I represent every single voiceover IP service provider on the market. I work with Nextiva on almost a daily basis with different companies that need quotes, need to coordinate demos, want to see the CRM or want to see other aspects of the platform. I can hook you up. I can get you better pricing than if, if you shop Nextiva yourself. So give me a call, drop me a message, let me know what it is you're looking for, and let me work on your behalf for free and get you the best pricing and get you the right solution from Nextiva. 
So um, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you found this video or any of our other videos helpful. Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business, phone, and internet service in the United States. I'll talk to you guys again in the next video.